Hi everybody, my name is Sergio Guy. Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Oh dear, some vertical tearing, uh, horizontal tearing going on there. That's new. Um, yeah, I mean, I knew, I know that you expected to all come back to some crafted items, but since I'll be crafting quite a new lot of cool and uh, exciting items, I thought it best that uh, well, I had in, I had it in the interesting parts. So yeah, I'm gonna go quiet again and get to work, and I'll just. Uh, Speak up if there's something to speak up about. See you soon. Alright, okay, I think we're about to craft something interesting. So let's uh, come out and do it in person. Welcome aboard, Captain. First thing I need is this. I think that should be it. I think that should be it. Go on, Boyle. Let's see what you got. Uh Oh, I can do either. I can do either of them. Ooh. Ooh, that does that make a difference? <gasps> okay, I'm about to craft my first um sea truck uh compartment apart from the aquarium, which was a little bit of a an indulgence. Um vehicles, here we go. So the fabricator module. A small amount of additional storage space. How much do I need right now? Between them, I've got a computer chip and lead, and plastic ingot and wiring kit, and things like that. How good it feels to finally have a supply of lead, I tell you that much. Hmm. Ex loads of extra storage or the ability to fabricate on the fly. Where am I in terms of this stuff? Well, if I use that, quite frankly, then I can I can fabricate what I need for the other thing. Uh, if I do that, I can fabricate what I need for this whilst out in the field. So I think it's got to be this. Nova, looks like you're getting the truck treatment, at least for now. Let me know if you would prefer to be the scouting vehicle. Um, I think it's true that the scouting vehicle will see a bit more airtime. So the setting. Is. Crackle, crackle. Splashle. Can't see much of it. Yeah, pretty, pretty private. Go. I mean, probably faster to <laughs> swim back and get the mountain to come to Mohammed, but, um. Here we go. Uh, you are not looking like you're the right color at the moment, but that's okay. Whoa, okay, uh, just gonna pilot this a little bit more smoothly. Horizontal, like so. Here we are. So what sort of, um, storage have we got here? Yeah, not very much at all. It's designed for the other thing, but that's okay. Fabricator. So good. Uh, just for the basics, you know? Excellent! That's so nice! I'm a fan, boy. I'm a fan. So now that I'm here, uh, mobile base style, what's the next step? Oh, the next step is weather. Well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, welcome, I have decided to establish a little base here uh, by Copper Mining Station, you can see it just there. Um, it is simple beyond belief currently. It is just a moon pool and a multi-station uh, thing uh, in which is contained a bioreactor. Um, as it goes forward I'll line this place with lockers and things like that. Uh, 
I hope you disappear eventually. That's okay. I'll have you stuffed and you can go by the, uh, you know, the entrance. You know, ward people away. I really did. I multiple, multiple times, like a dozen times now, tried to lead it away. It wasn't down here in the first place. I don't understand this game's predator thing where you can lead them to a place that you want to, like, hang around, but you can't lead them away in exactly the same way. I really don't understand. But, uh... Go. There's just there's too much like valuable ore in here and too much of a wide variety of valuable ores in here to pass up. So um I don't know, at this point I anticipate that the prawn suit uh will eventually kind of reside here. But we'll just see. I'm just I'm keeping my options open, doing a couple things which I sort of had in my head originally. Ah, inventory full already. Uh you can go live then. Alright. Keep it on, keep it on. That fabricator thing coming in handy already. Ah, okay, what's next? Let's see. Um. There you go, Nova. Gave you a little bit of a, a makeover. Don't ask me why, I just, I like the white on red for this particular, this particular, whoa, he was curious about the makeover I was doing. Uh, if you don't like it, I'll change it back, just, that's just me. I seem to recall you didn't really care. Okay, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm about to craft the actual prawn suit. Uh, let's see, where am I? That's better. It's like a cool mint green in here now. It's really relaxing, I find. <laughs> yes, this way. Okay. Also, Horsepower upgrade. Let's see what sort of difference this makes. Long, arduous journeys between locations. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, that might just be my sensitivity, but. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's not a dramatic difference, but that's okay. I'd be faster. I think like my, my rising and, and turning just in general is more responsive. So that's nice. It's just a small quality of life difference. Jetting back and forth between these uh these four bases now. I haven't been to Lily Cove yet today. Pod base, Lily Cove, copper mining station, which I'll rename to reflect the new um well, the new base there. Uh the actual underground station itself is called Copper Mining Station. I'd rather not name my thing the same thing. Could do I guess. But I won't. I think this will do. We are not too far. Any crypto succi nearby is my primary concern. Nope, in that case, release the secret weapon. Here we are. Ah, ooh, a fine view. So we want pancakes. Boom, boom. About bleeding time. Resurrected from memory <laughs> and from steel. Tintin lands in the waters once again. How you doing there, Bio? <laughs> well, ah, right, right, right. Yes. Um. Okay. Well, we need to actually kit you out first. Be prepared for this. So, yep. Drill arm. Grappling arm. Uh, I don't know which order that's in. Okay, the drill arm is... And the grappling arm. That's how I like it, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, the handling feels a little different than I used to. That's all right, boy. I'm sure we're going to get used to each other in the same way as we would do once upon a time. Let's get you to your new home, shall we?
descending. Here we go. I planned that perfectly. Bang. Right, well now here's a freaking question. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that would have been extremely dumb. There we go, there we go, there we go. And you got the jump jets to get you in there? Yeah, you did. You're fine. Welcome aboard, Captain. Boom. Okay. Tintin, you home. Ah, uh, I think I just need a couple of copper too. Oh, which I'm sure I can source from nearby. Uh, to build a... Yeah, well, titanium computer chip copper wire. So I need two lots of copper wire. Right. Four copper. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oh yeah, I've got a headlamp Oxygen on. Efficiency decreased. What do you guys think of the headlamp? I quite like it. The, the trade-off between... Um, the trade-off between... You know, bre uh, oxygen efficiency at lower depths and just being able to see without having to equip a specific item to see is an interesting one. But uh, I don't know, at, at like the lowest of low depths, I can just imagine that like you would not use it at all, uh, which is a bit of a shame. I wonder if it might be better in place of like the compass or the HUD chip or something. Just like a, like a shoulder lamp or something like that. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Oh, where are we? Let's see if we can track what we need down. Well, turns out you need a drill arm to pretty much make any headway in that place, so, well. Whoa, betide me. Don't know why I picked that thing up. Okay, here we go. Copper found by Lily Cove. Welcome aboard, Captain. As vital sustenance for living, none of which I brought with me, because why would I? Let's uh, do this. Best to have it, I think. Can I put it? No, I can't put it outside, can I? Um, yeah, just there. The wall there. No need for a window or anything. Bim. Here we go. Got it. Tin. Tin? Tin tin. That was definitely not how I phrased it <laughs> when I first had it. And you know what? We're going to give you the same color treatment as kind of my standard for now. It's bold red. Uh, give it the green as well, actually, because I actually am kind of enjoying that. And the other thing is kind of like uh, that, like turquoise. And up there, like that too. Tintin. <laughs> there he is. There's the boy. All ready to get on with some mining work. Gotta love it. Hi everybody, welcome back. Just a wee update, I'm just nipping in. Um, you can see down there we've got Tintin and we're putting him hard at work. Um, I have now mined out pretty much all of the resources found in Copper Mining Station and renamed this base to Copper Gulf. As you can see the bio uh, reactor that was there, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys that. This base was originally a bio reactor uh, adjoining with a moon pool, a very simple structure. Um, it now has a scanner room in place and you can see it's got a power line which feeds up into the rock there and the thermal uh, generator thing uh, which, which only gives me a wee bit of uh, a wee bit of power but certainly enough and here is resources talking lithium, we're talking quartz, we got diamonds, rubies, we're stocked. I mean, it's not masses and masses and masses, but it's a start. That's for darn tootin'. Um, and I wanted to come in just now because you can see at the top, uh, I now have enough for a storage module and I'm curious if I have enough for a docking module. I need an advanced wiring kit for that. 
Uh, well, that's actually not too far from achievable. I have another plasti lingot just lying around in here, plus that. Uh, so I think just let's put this put this good use. So copper. One thing I don't have a fabricator in here, and I, I almost deliberately didn't build one because I I don't want this place to become a mining station in the same way that the red house was. Uh, so I think I think that's all I need. Let's test my knowledge. Advanced wiring. No. <laughs> Advanced wiring kits um, were always a little, uh, yeah. I just, it's something about the recipe I just was never able to get my head around. But I think that's it now. Hmm. Yeah. A module inside here. I've shown you guys kind of the cool mint green interior of, uh, of um, Nova these days. Uh, so, okay, yeah, copper wire, have the computer chip, and the wiring kit, and the advanced wiring kit, okay, I think, um, docking module, here we go, yeah, two, six, yeah, we're, we're good, we're good, um, so Tintin's there. Uh, but we're better off taking the whole darn thing here. Now finding the uh, the mobile <laughs> vehicle um, bay or whatever the hell it's called, uh, that is a slight challenge. Where's White Shore? White Shore's over there, huh? Huh. Yeah, this place is always at a different angle than I actually expect it to be. Are they coming after me? I don't know if it was. Better safe than sorry. Let's head up, head up Delta Woods, and uh, you know we're just gonna. Boop. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I knew those ridgy mushroom cliffs looked familiar. That it was nearby. And did you just leave your stuff lying around in the ocean? But <laughs> because that's just my style. So this will be a couple of very useful items. Which we must make sure to craft and then move out of the way for each other because that would be an embarrassing collision. Uh, what's this so far? A prawn suit. That is not new, I've made one. Um, first of all. Storage module. Gagging for one of these. I mean, you could theoretically make more than one, uh, but hopefully one will do this for the time being. I do eventually want to make a glass one too. Okay. Ooh. God, I forgot how weird and quiet it is when you're swimming without like a. Uh... I just let my ears popped or something like that when you're swimming without the sea glide. There we go. Cool. Looking good. Looking professional. And. Mmm. Pronsit. Pronsit docking module. A seminal, seminal thing. I realized I was talking the other uh, time, and I'm sorry if I repeat anything here. I've actually, like, this is a few days later. This episode is just one of those episodes where I'm working for hours, just kind of chilling with Subnautica, which has actually been really nice. Um, and, uh... Yeah, just, it's been a few days since I last actually spoken to the camera. Uh, despite the fact that I've been playing it kind of every other day. Uh, so apologies if I repeat anything. But I realised that um, I've been talking about having two sea trucks, and I think maybe eventually I'd like to kind of get to that point. Ah, uh, that's one disadvantage of this, is that I can no longer uh, nip into the back. Um, yeah, okay, but this looks, this looks good. It's a good looking vehicle, yo, Nova. Uh, -huh. uh yeah, because there's a lever in there to detach the uh the prawn suit. Or, no, not the prawn suit, uh your your modules whenever you like. So when I want, I could just detach them, let them float free, and then come back and reassemble my sea truck when uh Nova has done their scouting. Um but there's like certainly something to be said for different configurations of sea truck, uh for different needs. But we'll just we'll see. But I'm not gonna force the issue of uh, using multiple ones. Wow, my charge is really low on this. I guess it hasn't been a while since I've docked this. It's been 
kind of hard at work for a while. All right, let's see what we've got. I'm off. Um, so, yep, yeah, this is the, the fabricator module that we've seen, and this is the storage module. How? No. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, you know what? Not bad. Not amazing, though, either. Um, limited is certainly. So there's benefit to, to building multiple. And then we got this guy here as well. Oh, which has a hatch at the top. Right, well, that's cool. Nice. Ah, uh, well, let's run down and grab the prawn suit. Uh, show the prawn suit. Show Tintin. Uh, we can drive into Whiteshore. Um, because the next thing that I'm doing is... Here we go. Oh, you can actually... Just, it's subtle, but you can tell. Um, there's just a little bit of drag. Uh, despite everything. The next thing I'm going to do is... Uh, Lily Cove is designed to be a bio base. I would like my alien containments to be there. I would like, uh, you know... Uh, biological specimens to be there. <laughs> Hi, Fred. You gotta name the little crab that fell down here when I was building this place a while ago and is now forever stuck. He's doing fine. I discovered something when I was mining. I was avoiding those crabs for ages. They can't hurt you when they're in the when you're in the prawn suit. They just kind of hop. It's like being hit from the side by Mario. Doesn't make a difference. Team team. Looking good there, boys. Your storage module, got your jump jets, got your grill. Uh, drill, sorry. <laughs> drill and grappling gig arm. And uh, hopefully it's as very simple as... Yeah! Not a fan of the way it just pops me out into the ocean. Feels like it could potentially be dangerous at some point. Nice. Give me that booty, girl. Alright, so uh, I'm leaving here, uh, so let's actually expansion the storage. And I think I'm, I'm about to cut away from y'all again um, to get back to work, to get back to silent work. There we go. Supposedly kind of the very least titanium in here. I mean, having all my stuff secreted away in, in this kind of isolated pod of a base next to nowhere, really, will be a pain um, in certain ways. Uh, I'm just going to kind of see how it plays. But the fact is, there are so much valuable ne minerals nearby, but at the very least, I've saved time by not having to transport it back and forth from White Shore or from Lily Cove, uh, which are basically both yeah, Lily Cove and White Shore. Yeah, all but equidistant. Working out as I go. I'm having fun doing it too. Alright, okay. So, uh... Back to White Shore. I think I just noticed a little observation back there that, uh... <laughs> oh, my cat is... Um, sorry, uh, I was going to say something completely different. I was just going to say because my tail's longer, I'm aggroing from a further away range. Um, but they seem to swim all the way up to the head here. Which is interesting. Anyway, yes, um, my cat is actually sat next to me. Um, I just pulled up a chair uh, next to my desk, just kind of by coincidence. She was hanging around being needy, so I thought, come hang out. Um, right, let's just... There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, shoot. Can I still get into my storage? I guess I don't need to, but... No, no. But well, the good thing is they're all together, at least... So if I hold the, if I hold this one, move that over here, does it also move the rest? Okay, thank you, user friendliness. <laughs> uh, you, to be careful. Anyway, yes, uh, and she's she's reacting to the fish on screen. <laughs> So, I thought she was reacting to me talking a little bit because she's just having a bath uh, right now. Oh, God. She's doing a bit of the old spread eagle to sort herself out. Intruded on an accidental private moment there, didn't I? Um, oh, this is nice. Yeah. Just, she's never really watched me recording before. She's usually just climbed all over the desk. Uh, but when you play a fish game, go figure. Cat's going to get interested. And we're back. We're transporting biomatter from White Shore to Lily Cove. That's what we're doing next. All right, guys. I am here at uh, 
What do they call it? Copper golf. Copper golf. Uh, that's G U L F, by the way. And uh, yeah, I just realised I can I can construct something else now. Uh, that thing that I can construct is at the top right. See if you can guess what it is. Whatever it is, it uses two of these, and I think there is a sulfur specific. There we go. And just a couple more silver for the bucket. Get through already. And I don't go down here. Oh, this doesn't have the freaking. Ah, uh, I thought it did. Um, how much is it gonna cost to? Do I actually? I need a bloody moon pool anyway. Uh, for Lily, for Lily Cove. How much would it cost me to do that? It's just, I think it only costs like about three fifty. Uh. Right. Well, I got it. I got it. I got it. I just so happen to have some lubricant on me, for reasons I am not entirely sure of. Um, yeah. Just lead. Burn through the lead supplies. Not as easy to come by as you might think. Still, we got uh, one titanium bar in here, I think. Boom. And there's only five to create another one. Alright. Uh... Wait, hang on. Whilst I'm there, I need to not make the same mistake twice. Uh, I also need two copper. I have a computer chip in the sea truck. There. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, I almost did it again. <laughs> I'm sure I have three titanium. Um, at Lily Cove. Yeah, building something new. You can tell what it is. It's the afterburner uh, upgrade for the sea truck. Which, this thing is significantly slower than it once was, and God, does his ass drag around. But, you yeah, know, um, still, a little burst of speed can hurt. I keep getting, I keep getting attacked by the crypto suckers, which is hanging out above me. Now that I'm bigger. A more challenging target. I'll ram him. I'll ram him like I did the first one. I'm not afraid to. I treat the animals in this place with respect. Take more, no more than I need. But I was here first. It's not a good enough reason to attack me when I'm trying to build a home. Alright, gotta be careful here. I haven't seen the cello crate in this direction for a little while, but it's out there, and I gotta make sure that I am wary, that I am a larger target. Now, I suppose if I want consistent speed, I wonder if the horsepower uh, upgrades would stack. I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Lily Cove has gone through a bit of a remodel. It is still a work in progress, but so far, I'm liking it. It's a very different specimen from the original. Um, now when you go in here, you've got, uh, instead of the fabricator at the back, which I moved along to the right, you have the ladder at the top, which takes to the top room, where I'm planning on hosting either the first uh, aquarium or a um, or another bioreactor to support the various aquariums that this place is eventually going to have. And then in here, the moon pool. And with the idea being that you come in kind of down this direction. Maybe I'll put landing lights up there or something. I've got to be careful. Pretty near a squid shark turf. But, uh, yeah. Hello? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Thank you. <laughs> if it ain't the eyes, it's the sea monkeys. Uh, let's make that after. Well, what can I make in here? Well, that's handy, but, uh, um... Afterburner upgrade. Short bursts of speed. Yeah. Go away, please. <laughs> Just, I don't want to hit no sea monkeys. That would break my little Tuscaloosa heart. Detach. Pilot. Let's take her out for a wee spin. Okay, so it's got to be... Uh, so it's not shift as you might expect from like a boost. 
Oh, it is, it is, it is. I didn't even try pressing it. I just selected it. Uh, I assumed that, like, mouse click would do it. It recharges like that. How much power does that take? Alright, let's, uh... <laughs> well, it lasts a fair amount of time, too. There you go, yeah. A few, a good, solid few seconds there. Alright, righteous, and let's practice the new approach into, um... Oh, it's interesting, it tracks the modules when I'm not there. Whoa! I'm sturdier all the time. Practicing the approach. There's that squid shark. Warning, warning. Oh, that's too close. Let's just hope it goes away. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, uh, that's, that'll do me for tonight. I'm gonna log off, but uh, this is by no means the end of the episode. Oh. See you guys in a bit. Alright guys, welcome back. Hello, we're a few hours later. And welcome uh, back to Lily Cove. Oh. <laughs> I don't mind if I do, thank you. He's going to be so helpful. Alright, so I know what you're thinking, uh, first of all. Why does he never use the large rooms? And I want to, I really, really do. The trouble is I forget they exist when I'm starting to build a base. And especially in like a kind of limited environment like this, uh, which is the sort of environment I prefer to build in. It's more interesting to me to like make something out of the space that I have available. Uh, and it's it's for me this is very covish, you know, just where I am and everything like that. Um, yeah, I just I don't know. By the time I thought of a large room, by the time I remembered it was around, uh, I was basically like I was already three stories high, and well, it would have required basically a scrapping of the whole thing. And I still think this is the better fit for this particular base. So let's let's take the tour, shall we? So right here, we've got our grow beds uh, with gel sacks, uh, ribbon plants, young cotton anemones, and antenna plant, respectively. Oh yeah, and to give a nice lighting effect, we've got creep vine here at the back, which is uh, very handy to have nearby. Uh, inside. Welcome aboard, Captain. The return of Hydra. This is our crafting uh, kind of like area. So we've got, you know, storage containers here full of goodies. Quite as much as at Copper Gulf, but uh, we're certainly getting there. And these aren't used for anything yet. They're kind of back on modification station, proper crafting uh, area. And uh, yeah, but these are just around these planters. So moving up, uh, this was going to be uh, like an aquarium. In fact, there may be footage of there being an aquarium in this space, but it just, it didn't fit. And honestly, I'm not super interested in having like live aquariums in the way that I did at Vigo Doria in the original game. I, I don't know if there's a benefit to it, let me know, but just for the sake of doing it, eh. I'm, I'm kind of neutral on it. Uh, so this is instead my private quarters here. Uh, again, we're, we're keeping that kind of like greenery theme for Lily Cove going um, around. A uh, lovely picture of Sam and I think Lillian. Uh, there, it's been a while. Some posters. Motivational style. And up here we have our... Well, our first of all... Oh, man, you can't really see. <laughs> but uh, you can sort of make out that above me. Actually, I think it's getting lighter as we speak. Uh, so I'll look up in a second, but it's a great view up there uh, using at least one of the new things, which is the multi-purpose room uh, dome window. And above us, we can see the giant lily pad overlooking Lily Cove. Uh, marble melons, uh, what's it, Preston's plants, basically every sort of indoor plant that I've come across so far. Uh, over here is our nuclear power station, nice and out of the way so it can hum to itself in peace. And an exit out this way, heading towards the Mercury, which I have been using plenty for this uh, pursuit of titanium. Heading into here, um, I think you guys, you guys already saw that it was like the control room down on the other side there, uh, but we got our moon pool. Uh, with its upgrade station and over here to the left our scanning room 
So yeah, I really like Lily Cove actually. It's maybe one of my favorite bases that I've ever made, but I've also been working so hard on it and for so many hours that I'm kind of sick of it. <laughs> so yeah, get me out of here. Get me like, doing some objectives which are not crafting or exploration based. Which is actually what we're going to do just now. That's why I'm, that's the primary reason I brought you guys back in. I suspect this might be our final uh, crafting objective before we can actually start to explore again. I mean, they've got stuff like the ion power cell. More ion batteries uh, will be like wonderful. Oh, I am now wearing um, the reinforced dive suit, by the way. And uh, the cold suit's in that locker over there, uh, ready to go back or to explore uh, above ground as I was going to a fair few episodes ago. Um, we've got, yeah, nothing here. I don't have an aquarium module yet, but uh, I could do it. It's just awkward to find diamond for enamel glass in this location, though I do have a ton back at copper mining. So maybe I'll just, uh, I'll do that real fast. I'm gonna do it, might as well get the food whilst I'm on the go. And um, yeah, I mean, all this stuff here, like we've got stuff like, uh, let's see, where is it? Prawn suit depth module mark one. Unfortunately, I still need the synthetic fibers, which I still don't know how to get, but um, I have a suspicion of uh, where those might be. Um, there was a vent garden that I've been told that I can actually swim into, and I'm thinking that it might be there, uh, as I was hinted at that there was a valuable resource uh, kind of growing inside. So I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Um, I'm sure we'll find it eventually anyway, but it's an elusive thing. Uh, the only synthetic fibers I've managed to get so far are pre-built ones. The propulsion cannon arm is handy, except if you're me, in which case it's not. So these two arms are fine for me for now. We've got the afterburner upgrade, the horsepower upgrade, uh, the perimeter upgrade, and the sea truck depth module. I think Mark II? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, not Mark II yet. Unless, did I use that? I bet I used that already. Uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, it's, it's doing me fine for now. Yes, because I think the next one is kyanite, so I could actually make that immediately. I think I even have plastilingus knocking around somewhere, but we'll wait on that. We don't need it just yet. And, um, ba 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 ba. Yep, everything here. <coughs> oh God, I'm sorry. My partner's making dinner in the other room. And, uh, well, it's a spicy curry, and even though I'm two rooms away, my sensitive throat is still not very happy about it. Yeah, okay. So, uh, what we're making now is this. I want to make the tether tool. So, iron cube. Uh, silicon fiber. Was it two that I needed for that? Uh, just one. It was two titanium. And where is it made exactly? The fabric? Station. Here we go. Teleport to a nearby sea, tr sea truck teleportation module. The tether tool facilitates instant travel to a bed sea truck teleportation module. Ion cube required for use. We need to power it with an ion cube. Well, that might limit things somewhat. Let's just grab him. Uh, and let's get on our way. So, want to make this plastic ingot, advanced wiring kit, and two aerogel. And, uh, one second. Yeah, and uh, that as well, just in case that we need to make it. So yeah, uh, I'll get on my way and uh, we are heading to Copper Mining Station, uh, Copper Gulf. Once I've done a tiny bit more harvesting here. So see you guys in a mo. Okay. We have our ingredients. <clears throat> now we just need to find the mobile vehicle bay. Straight up. So, uh, you, okay, where am I going first of all? That's the go so this way. We are about to see, I think, something pretty cool and hopefully something a little quite important. There it is. Now as I think we're about to see the sea truck in its kind of final form, at least for now. Craft in a storm. There we go. Ooh. There. 
Lovely. Okay. Let's do them one at a time. Let's make the aquarium module first because, you yeah, know, we've done that already. And my understanding of how this works these days is that uh, this will pick up fish as I'm kind of walking around, which I can then craft using the fabricator one into a food. Uh, so this needs to come off the end. There. Oh, yeah, just flip me right the way around. So apologies for all the future fish which will fall victim to this uh, devious trap which works somehow. Um, but, uh, well, gotta have food whilst I'm on the go. And this is the only way uh, with the Cyclops. Ugh. I could very easily... Oh, that's cleared up out here. Very nice. Uh, with the Cyclops, I could very easily just um, grow food. And I tried that, you can't, you can't place things inside the sea truck, which is a feature I missed. The mobile base thing, which you could actually build into, was a really cool feature the last one. Having said that, this is going to give us a few unique features, not least of which are the very cool things such as teleportation modules. Yeah. Which can be added to it. Yeah, good job. Here we go. And lastly. But the other good bonus about it is that unlike the Cyclops, um, with this I can take what effectively amounts to my scouting vehicle and my kind of hard hitting vehicle, this guy. Tintin and Nova can both join. Because when I want to scout, I can simply detach the, the back module here. Uh, it's got a, an upgrade loadout, which uh, is, you know, very, very suitable uh, for scouting. And, uh, but whilst they're all attached, then it is a wonderful, rather moody mint green, which, I don't know, for me, that's just, this is just atmospheric. Uh, it's very nice. Um, ooh, this is the teleport. Ooh, 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 ooh. Fun. Well, you can't actually do anything here. Ah, we have our first victim. Hello. Now, of course, uh, this doesn't count for water. I'm just going to have to hope I swim into bladder fish, but with Hydra, I'm just stocking up on their water bottles, so there will be an upper limit to how much I can use, um, you know, how long I can survive with this, but uh, hopefully that's a pretty generous upper limit. Now let's take it out for a spin because this thing is huge and you can feel it behind you. Five whole modules, holy crap. So, um, yeah, I mean, this this more or less, uh, oh, oh. You. Resolves my crafting objectives, what I wanted to do uh, during the break, and I th I'm thinking I will turn this into a single episode because, frankly, it'll be easier to edit um, that way. Uh, I can just focus on filtering out the footage. It's several hours, um, and uh, whilst yeah, uh, last time you came in, you're you're coming at me with a, a wide range of kind of moods and energy levels uh, throughout this uh, particular episode, and I have very much enjoyed just chilling out and, and not commentating over this game. Uh, but I'm now very keen to get back to some exploration and some actual commentary, preferably when turmeric and other assorted spices are not forcing their way down my throat right now. Uh, and uh, we have a couple places to explore. I want to explore the event garden. Um, I want to explore further down the funeral section where I found all these uh, sea truck fragments. Um, I think there might be something a little bit further down there. I do seem to remember turning back. I'll just speed myself up a little bit. It's a bit power hungry that, but I'll plug the sea truck in at uh, Lily Cove. You can 
tell by the no that's why I went quiet there. You can tell by the noise when you're being pursued fairly often. So I just uh, was listening for getting a little bit louder. Uh, <coughs> God. Now, if I'm honest, I probably need to go in this way. Which is not a route I'm used to yet. It's very, very slow. The one last thing. Oh my god. Oh god. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I will wrap this up soon. I just need to get through these last few minutes. Um, yeah, the one last thing I wanted to ask you guys about was uh, what's your stance on mods in this game? Uh, I didn't know there was a modding scene, uh, which, you know, more fool me, there's a modding scene for every game. But... Yeah, like, there's extra sea truck modules and things like that. If I'm honest, I'm inclined to let it remain vanilla, but also this is probably going to be the only time I ever play this. So if you have mod recommendations, let me know of them because it's... Ah, forgot something. Never quite gets close enough, but that's about as close as I'm comfortable with. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, anything which doesn't change the game too much because everything's balanced around the way that Subnautica already is, but I've used mods in, in these series before and they've gone very well. I've enjoyed them a lot. So I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it. I won't look into it. Uh, unless you guys say that there's something worth looking into. Um, yeah, the one last crafting objective that I have, I was coming around to, were the depth modules which involve kyanite, uh, for which I need a single more kyanite. Um, oh, and uh, I guess... No, I've done that, so like that's all within reach. And then the prawn suit mark one is... Uh, oh, that needs synthetic fibers as well. Um, plus... Monster Death Mode Mark 2, also Kyanite. Alright, well, okay, we're stalled on that for now until we can find synthetic fibers. I hope I'm right about the Vent Garden. I guess we'll find out. Um, so, I'm going to call it there. No idea how long this episode uh, is going to last. Uh, if the catch up episode is anything to go by, longer than I think it's going to. It's been a hell of a thing, and I'm really looking forward to getting in, exploring some new places next time. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, everybody. See you then.